So for this next project, we're gonna be making giant mittens. Now, first thing you have to do is you get to pick the color of the background of your mitten. So you get to pick red, green, or blue. Keep in mind that your background color is gonna be what's behind all of your design. So pick a color you think that you are gonna like the best. I think I'm gonna go with blue just because it's light. Once you've picked your paper, you're going to then name and flip using pencil. For this project, I made tracers for you guys. You'll see it says trace. You could use your tracer facing left or facing right. It's completely up to you. The way you use these is you line them up in the middle of your page. If it's to the side, you're going to have part of your mitten off of your paper. Make sure you can see your paper through all sides. Then, using your pencil very carefully, you're gonna trace the mitten. Notice how I'm using my helper hand to hold the tracer as I go. If you go off the line a little bit like that, it's okay because we're gonna end up cutting these out as our last step. So work nice and slow. Trace all sides. You can even check and see if you've missed something by lifting up your tracer. So I missed the line right here. So I'm just gonna reline it up and redraw that line. Once you're done with the tracer, pass it to the next person. To add color to our mittens, we're going to use our paint sticks. Now the way we use our paint sticks is the same way we use our glue sticks. You take the cap off, give it one twist up. Do not keep twisting and twisting and twisting because that will break the paint stick. So one twist works really well. Then when you're done, you're gonna put your cap back on it till it pops, and then you can just move on to your next color. So I'm gonna work from the top of my mitten down. If you wanna work from bottom up, you can. But the goal is to get lots of designs and lots of colors inside of your mitten. So I'm gonna start just by doing a line. Now, if you go over your pencil lines off the edge, it's okay if you go outside of the lines for this project because we're gonna cut these out. So in each section, fill up the whole mitten with bright, beautiful color. You'll see how I'm gonna use lines and different designs and different patterns to create my mitten. So I'm gonna let this part fast forward so you can see it when it's all done. Perfect, so I have my paint stick all done. I'm gonna pick up my mitten like a pizza and I'm gonna put it into the drying rack. Before we add our final details, we need to cut our mitten out. So just as a reminder, your thumb goes into the circle hole, your helper fingers go into the big hole, and you're gonna use little crab and big crab to cut out that mitten. Now I know this is gonna be a hard cut, but there are helpful things that you can do to try to get your mitten out of your paper. So what I like to do sometimes is use little crab. So sometimes what I like to do is pull my scissors out and start a whole new cut. So picking up where I left off with my cut, and you can pull your scissors out. I can even cut off extra bits because this is all scrap anyways. So follow along around the outside of your mitten and cut it right out of the paper. Beautiful, so my mitten is still cut out. Double check to make sure you can still see your name on the back. For your last and final details, we're gonna be using our metallic Sharpies. Metallic means shiny, so we'll have silver Sharpies, and we also have our black Sharpies. Now, our Sharpie cannot be erased, so make sure you're very careful when using these. You also can add details using your regular colored markers as well. Now, you're probably wondering where to put the details, and if you look in your paper, there's all of these blank spots that need more of those details. So maybe I'll add some here and in those blank spots just to give it a little extra bit of detail. So I'm going to have it fast forward through this part so you can see my final mitten.
Get your mitten to a spot where you really like it and you don't want to add any more details. When you're done, double check to make sure your name is on the back. 